what if you were seeing uh, security robots on this stage? What if they start attacking people just to maximize up, just to clean up their street, but attacking some? Well, I mean, it, it, a simple way to say it is what if they malfunction? Let's say you have self-driving cars. Have you seen the self-driving cars that they, there is no safety driver? Have you seen Yes, I mean, I've cars? seen videos of it. I haven't seen it. They're all over San Francisco. It's, they're they're really? in San Francisco. Yeah, they're, they're pretty. I think they banned one of the companies, but you can still see many of them. And they're, they're in multiple other cities. There are a couple of cities in Texas, in, uh, in uh, Arizona. They're, they're in multiple cities now. And there is no driver, and the car just... It's very funny, actually, when you see it on this. It's first, like, it takes you a while to get used to it. And just assume that in, I don't know, five, ten years, some big percentage of the cars on the streets are going to be self-driving. There is going to be no driver, no safety driver, nobody to car drive by itself. What if these cars get hacked? I mean, the hacking is just one... And then start just attacking people. Right. Or what if the, the cars at some point starts optimizing for wrong uh, objective function? This is very likely with AI. For example, they want to get to a point very fast and they start colluding with each other against other cars. Right. Hmm. Uh, they block some part of the road. They, right. this, these are not super villain uh, move, Hollywood movie scenarios. These are very likely things to happen. And what if you were seeing uh, security robots on this stage? What if they start attacking people just to maximize, up, just to clean up their street, but attacking some? Well, I mean, it, it, a simple way to say it is what if they malfunction, right? Yeah. Uh, that's a, but, but it also occurs to me that that is an, also an old argument that, that people have made. It's like saying, with the invention of the elevator. Well, what if the elevator malfunctions and drops to the ground and everybody dies? We know that those things can happen. But again, it comes down to, in this to case, scale. what's that? And uh, To scale. And have scale, you seen right, yeah, the yeah. Social Dilemma documentary on Netflix? Yes. That's, that basically, uh, I really like that documentary. It highlights the right, it's, the AI doesn't need to, and that was a few years ago, that was before all these new advances. AI doesn't need to be smarter than us to ruin us or par, par, ruin us partially all the time in, in every aspect. It needs to be smarter than us sometimes in some aspects. That, the, the, that example of social media is a big one. So basically the social dilemma documentary was about that Okay, you're a human being, you have emotions, you have, how do I say, it? you have you have holes in your brains, right? A everybody. You have weaknesses. And if you're interacting with the agent that is somewhat smart at all the time and somewhat sometimes wants to trick you, it can. And that that's why how many of your, how many of people who are watching this program are addicted to Instagram and cannot get over that right that's one example of like that's why i say this is very different from the elevator in elevator we don't we don't see people getting addicted to elevator we don't see people abusing the elevator elevator doesn't have a feedback loop that talks to people talks back right to right, right 